to the first ever episode of Cooking Time with Crim. Today we're going to make vegetable and beef samosas. So follow me and let's get cooking. Okay, so looking at your spices, you're gonna want some pepper, salt, garam masala, ground turmeric, ground cumin, mixed herbs, crushed chilies, only a little bit, mind, smoked paprika, lazy garlic, because I'm a lazy bastard, and they panic bought all the garlic, peas, beef mince, potatoes, and chopped onions. That's everything that's going inside of this, and let's just have a little quick look at the main contender of what we're gonna need for this. Oh yeah, Mr. Filo Pastry. Super fresh. Right, so you're gonna to wanna to add peas into a little pot. And then you're gonna to wanna to add some potatoes to that to make sure that that's full of carbohydrates. That's the good old shit, you. Mm -hmm. Little top tip of the day, you're gonna to wanna to put a little teaspoon of the old turmeric in there. Adds color and adds flavor. Mm -hmm. And then into our nice heated pan, we're gonna throw in all the onions. Oof! Next up, we're gonna throw the beef in there, just a little bread. Then you wanna give it a bit of, ooh, a bit of garlic. And while you're waiting for that to all cook off, you can go a bit nuts and do some gin aerobics. Right, so we got all of our lovely spices that we put together, we're just going to fucking wow, put that into the mix. Then, once our potatoes and peas is boiled, we're going to drain the shit out of them. Look at it. Once that's done, you're going to want to take that and throw it into your middle we'll mix in the pot. Ooh, boom. There are lots of different ways that you could try to do this. I've gone for the approach of just chucking some bit there and then fold it over to one corner, one corner and so on and so forth and wrap around the end. But whatever you want to do, you know, it's a, it's a quarantine baby, you do what you want to do, just as long as you wash your hands. So I just give a little demonstration, throw that there, um, and then I do the nice little tuck, the last little fry tuck, and that's how you get yourself a samosa. Put it on the tray, get ready for the next one. And that's how uh, it should look at the end. Very nice, very lovely. And then we get ready to bung it on in the oven at 180 degrees for 20 minutes. Look at them go, oof. And then you just take them out of the oven with your lovely gloves on. Make sure you mind your hands because it might be hot. Show them off to your friends and look like a twat. Enjoy cooking.